afternoon and thank you all for being here and giving me this opportunity to meet you all and thank you in person. Some of you have been really great to me. Some sections of the media have been absolutely wonderful. And I have some great friends in the media who have respected my need for privacy out of their genuine love and affection for me. And I would like to thank them first. I think that's very important for me here. Because though they knew where I was and what I was going through, they did not put me on a public pedestal to be mocked at or disgraced or humiliated like some of the media has done. I'm very, very deeply hurt by what has happened since March 2nd. Neither the media that telecasted this so-called visuals which has images that looks like me, nor anyone after that has even bothered to call me and ask me my side of the story before they went on air, which I think is a basic human courtesy. If I'm expecting basic human courtesies too much, then I feel very bad about it. This whole year has been a real nightmare, not only for me, but my family who has stood by me. And I'd like to thank God for giving me such a beautiful family who have had the courage and the faith to stand by me through all these times. Like I said, I call for this press meet only for one reason, that some sections of the media has been portraying me as absconding, hiding. I see no reason why I should be absconding or hiding. But I think you all will agree if, you, if I say that I do need time to recover from such shocks. Not just one. Not just one. Based on the other issues, that Lenin has created for me. I have filed a complaint against the ma in the magistrate, right? In the magistrate's court in Ramnagra district yesterday. I went personally to file the complaint. And I'm so surprised to see in the morning that some media still says that I'm hiding from the police. I walked into a magistrate's court with my lawyers. I was not wearing a disguise. And it's not necessary for me to tell each and every step of my Life. Put yourselves in my shoes and just imagine what I would have been through in the last few days, few months. For you all, you all know only the story from March 2nd. But what Lenin and his people have done has started much before. And I think you all have a copy of the complaint. In each and every step, I agree, I mean, I'm a professional, I've been a working woman. But like all working women, we all face issues in a different, with different dynamics. Each of us deal things differently. And I'm sorry, I'm actually sorry to say, I thought I was a very bold person who could face anything. But I think I didn't. I should have fought back from the very first moment, which I didn't, and I'm very sorry for it, and I'm apologetic about it. Not only to my family, but to everybody who's believed in me, But to put things in right perspective, I'm an ordinary woman with my own fears and vulnerabilities. Imagine if you all are threatened with arrest just because you don't want to stand up or make false allegations against people. What would you do? You tell me. Would you want to take care of your own safety and your security and your family? Isn't that more important to each and every one of us? Then to fall into some people's plan who have a larger I don't know, larger uh, goal in life. How am I even connected to this? Just because I am associated with Nityananda Dhyana Peetam and I'm a public personality does not give me some, anybody a right to make a mockery of me, a ridicule, by creating videos. Yes, I did not come in the beginning because I was scared. I was threatened and it's and I unfortunately do not have the habit of recording phone conversations or anything. But it's true, which is why I left the country on March 3rd. I felt it was essential for my family and my security. And after that, I'm sorry to say, I'm very, very, very depressed about the whole thing. It was not easy for me to cope up with it on various issues because 
I could not understand why someone would do something so perverted, so sick in mind, and some sections of the media have been fodering these personalities, which is very sad for me. Coming back to the complaint, I don't know if you will have got a copy of the complaint, and I will take questions from you. Uh, you'll have to be a little louder, whoever it is. Yes. Yes, I'm one of his million devotees. Yes, I am not the person in the video. Like I said, I... But yes, I know. Like I said, when I'm threatened with arrest and when there are bigger power that play and I do not know how to handle them basically. I'm a very ordinary person who minds her own business, who goes to work, comes back home. That's it. That's my limitation of the society. I do not have a father who is a chief minister. I do not have a father, a backing of a powerful political group to take on people who have that kind of an agenda and that kind of a missionary. I have mentioned it in my complaint. I agree, because the forensic lab says I cannot take on something which is not true. I cannot be a Galileo. Galileo is a great man. He recanted on his faith, on his beliefs, because the church put pressure on him. But I am not. I cannot go based on a forensic lab report. I know it is not me, and that is what I am sticking to. I cannot change it, right? OK, OK. I haven't yet met him. I wasn't in the country. Yeah, I think there's a lot of clarification that I required here. I left the country on March 3rd to the United States of America. I came back on June 14th for the single purpose of uh, expediting the investigations that were pending. And I cooperated with the investigating officials and I went back because there was still pressure on me through various sources, through bribes, through threats to my safety, to threaten of being arrested on drugs and prostitutions. I mean, it's not a joke. I was scared. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm fair and though I'm ashamed to say of it now, but that time I was very scared. I didn't know what would happen to me and my family. They, I was threatened not to say anything about the video, anything I would say in my defense would be in the defense of... I do not wish to go into these details right now. But my complaint is very clear on that statement of mine.